your life. Let's see if your life. You can hear me out there. Put a comment. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I think I'm live right now. That's a good thing. It's kind of it's, it's it's very bright. Okay, I can see myself live right now. So I decided to do something different. Big shout out to everybody watching. I decided to do kind of a review. Uh, I kind of decided to do a review here live um, instead of doing all the instead of doing all the. Uh, the editing and all that, I decided just to jump up here and talk about Vetter's holsters because I've done multiple, I've done multiple uh, videos on those holsters. So I figured, you know, you guys see me doing it a lot, right? So, um, yeah, let's do this live. If you're out there, put a comment. Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. If you got any intake, definitely put it up. It took me a little bit to kind of, I don't know, for whatever reason, the phone was, was acting up or something. But if you have a Vetter's holster... Put it in the comments. Unfortunately, a lot of the comments that we do here, uh, they do get erased. But if you watch this in the replay, definitely put comments in the in the comment section. Uh, for whatever reason, once you do the comments here, um, YouTube erase those comments, which is which is pretty uh, bad. So Semper Fi to all the Marines out there. Big shout out to Matt, sexy man of the night. Thanks for your support, man. It's kind of bright. My forehead looks like really bright. Uh, man, okay, whatever, we have to deal with that, but here's the new holster that I got sent, uh, by Vetter's Holsters, and first of all, every holster that I'm going to send you, I'm going to show you, it, it was sent by then, they run for about, they run for about $65, so it, it's pretty, it, it, it's pretty competitive when it comes down to the price, they're running really good business, I've talked to, i talked to, uh, uh, Mike is the one, uh, the guy who owns the place, and I have talked to him on the phone. I have talked to him via emails. And it sounds like a really good guy. Everything is made in the United States. Last time that I asked him, I think it was like one portion of the holster. I don't know if that changed. Maybe he puts it in the comments. That was made not in the United States. But everything else was. And it's handcraft, uh, crafted here. You know, I think they, I think it's about, I want to say about two hours or an hour and a half from my house. So one of these days, what I need to do is that I need to go over there and, and talk to those guys. But check it out, guys. So this is the CC uh, P01. This pistol is beautiful. This pistol is so nice. You know what? I didn't put the link to the review, but I'm going to put it down in the description box. You could tell right there. For some of you guys asking for uh, holster wear, this is a new holster. I haven't even I haven't even messed with it, but you can see a little bit of the paint right there in the in the front serrations. But again, Kaida holsters would do that. Kaida holsters typically are going to give you a little bit of holster wear. It's nothing you could do about that. That's just how it goes, right? So again, this pistol is beautiful. The ergos are amazing. The trigger is great. Obviously, we're looking at a. Uh, Double action, single action pistol. Uh, I mean, this 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 handgun is beautiful. This belongs to little brother. He's the one that he's the one that deals with this. I mean, this is this is his pistol. There we go. So I got two holsters, and I'm gonna tell you the story, right? So here's the two holsters, and little brother wanted to have a green holster because apparently zombies, in case of zombies or something like that, he wanted to have a green holster, right? And veterans could do, they could do all kind of different colors. I mean, they have so many different colors that it's ridiculous. You name it, they could potentially do it. Obviously, if you go into different colors, obviously you're going to go into a little bit more money. Some of the Kaide may not be as, as you know, uh, as the same price as all the Kaides. But if you see this holster, this is the first one that was sent here to the channel. Let me make sure I got good lighting. Uh, this is the first one that I got sent. You can see the, 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 the molding. I mean, awesome holster. But check this out, guys. You see all this wobble? That's not good, right? So either way, you know, I tried to have a retention screw right here. I, I tied it up, all that good stuff. I messed with it. Uh, but it wasn't good. I mean, obviously, this retention is not good. Now, when you put when you put your belt through it and just attach it, you the ret that kind of goes away. But obviously, that's not good. So I, I talked to them, and they had to readjust the molding. Now, that's that's cool. You know, that's very cool because that's what we want to see. We want to see companies that, if you have any issues, they are willing to take the time to change 
change some stuff. And I see a bunch of comments over here. Big shout out to everybody that is putting comments. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to check the comments in a minute. Let me go through this. So uh, Mike, you know, I talked to him over the phone. He did some adjust adjustments to the tool. And they came out with the new molding. And I actually got to email him back to let him know how, how it feels or how is it doing, you know. Uh, check it out, guys. I mean, this is life, guys. This is life. This is not, I'm not editing this. This is life. What you see is what you get. I mean, this thing is solid. And coming out, put my hand in here just in case. And coming out. And I mean, the retention is it, it's, it's just fantastic. It has a, let me see. Barely any play, barely any play, but again, solid. I mean, this thing is solid. Uh, 0 0.0, is it 0 0.08? Let me see my, yeah, 0 0.080 Kaide, which is the is the normal Kaide that, oh, you know, that holsters come with. I mean, I think there's a 0 0.90, but it's really thick. And maybe the 0 0.60 uh, is uh, a 0 0.060. Uh, it, it's too light. 0 0.08 is the standard Kaide that they use. I mean, just fantastic. The uh, the edge right here. I mean, you could just slide your finger through it. I mean, just great. You know, these guys have been doing holster for quite some time, so they now th these people are not running. You know, nothing. Not that there's anything wrong with running this out of your garage. At one point, I made a couple of holsters out of my garage, but this is a legit business. I mean, they, they're making good stuff, and you see them all over the community. All right, so Kaide looks fantastic. Everything good. Here's the here's the kicker, guys. This clip. This is what's going to make a difference between all the holsters out there. It's going to be this metal clip right here. And you're going to see, I should have pulled some of the holsters out, but you're going to see a lot of holsters that look just the same. Great retention, great molding, everything is same, the same. But this uh, clip right here is what's going to make a difference with the Vetter's holster. First of all, it's talkable. So you could put the holster and you could talk in your shirt. You know, if you go to church or anything like that, <laughs> you don't want to show you got a weapon, right? So it's talkable, which is great. It has a cant. So right here, you undo that screw, and then you could readjust the cant. And I want to say it's about uh, 30 degree cant. So here's the deal for some of you guys that, and I was having a conversation with a friend of mine the other day, uh, why you want a cant. Now, if you carry this pistol, this is a full size pistol. It's going to be like this. If you put a cant into it, the holster is going to sit right here. So if you could notice this, this movement right here, it's going to bring this grip up. And the fact that it moves this grip up is going to allow you to conceal the pistol even better. Because what you want to worry about, what you really want to worry about in concealment is not going to be the length of the pistol. I mean, this thing is, is inside your pants, guys. It's going to be the grip. You know, if you have a grip like this, obviously your, your shirt is going to be here. So you're gonna, it's going to be poking out a little bit. But once you give it that cant, it's going to sit up here. Obviously, it's going to go up and it's going to conceal even better. So you want to have a cant. Cant is great. All right. You want to have a cant. I like the cant very much. And this thing is solid. I mean, this thing just worked great. I want to say it fits, let's see, uh, 1.5 belt, uh, 1.5 inches. So that's very typical, very, you know, very common out there. Out there excuse me. So other than that, you're going to see. The swept guard right here, obviously it goes all the way up. A lot of a lot of holster uh, uh, holster companies give you the choice of taking this out. I don't know if they he gives you the choice of that or not, but you want it. I, I like the swept guard a lot because obviously this portion is going to be touching your skin, and you don't want that to touch your skin, right? In, in, in the case of this pistol, this pistol has serrations and all that. This could be a little bit. This could irritate your your tactical love handles like I do. So obviously, as you can see right here, obviously that is gonna feel better having that sweat guard. Here we got the sights, and as you can see, it's high enough for you to accommodate any aftermarket sights. So another plus right there. So again, solid holster. Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. I got. I'm gonna check your comments in a little bit. I wanted to do this live. Uh, uh, just to give it an idea. Let me know if you like you like this review's life. If you do like the video, let me know. Now I link Vetter's holsters information down in the description box. 
and uh, I also link the YouTube channels. Check out the YouTube channels. They're doing, they do a lot of videos, and they put out, they put out great content and, and great camera work. Whoever's doing that, great to you guys. And, and they put random videos about random things like why you carry it, uh, why would I carry, or what do they call it, why I carry a gun, something like that. And uh, so anyway, it, it's, it's pretty cool. So check that out. Like I said, different colors. This is green, but you could get a bunch of different colors. Let me show you a couple of more uh, pistols that I have here. Obviously, you've seen the Glock 42, same concept. And this one has the TLR 6 right here. One of you guys asked me why the pistol, if you can notice right here, the pistol grip kind of looks like that. And uh, I tried to answer that in the comment. Typically on holsters, the retention comes from the pistol grip. You can see right here. This portion right here has a lot of the retention for the holster. Obviously, having a light like I do right here, uh, you won't be able to get that retention from there. So the retention primarily comes from the TLR6. Now, I got this slide for quite some time. I mean, this holster for quite some time, months by now. And just today in the morning when I went out, the screw right there, you can see it right there, came out. So I got it right right here. I got all the, actually everything came out. I don't even know why, but here, got the little screws and all that. I got them uh, right here on my desk. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna reattach it. Uh, maybe put some Loctite or something like that. But that's the first issue that I have with this holster, the, the screw. And, and again, this is an everyday carry, guys. We carry this every single day uh, for months right now. And first time that we have any issues with that. Now. Another holster that we have here in the channel from Vetters is this holster right here. You guys seen it in the channel. I'm going to link some of the videos down below. And this is called the Light Draw. This was about $65. And, and again, obviously, this is a full size handgun MMP45. And in this case, this pistol right here, or this holster right here, is an outside the waistband. This is another choice they offer. It's a little bit bulky. Just a little bit, but not too much. And uh, I love this clips right here, whatever this is called, I forgot. It brings it really tight to your body. And as you can tell, again, we go back to that cant conversation we have. This pistol is canted, I want to say about, uh, I can't remember if it was 15, uh, 15 degrees or 10 degrees or something like that. But it gives you a little bit of a cant. Again, this is the retention right here. Obviously, you see the retention, again, comes from the pistol grip. Uh, but again, another good choice. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I've done multiple videos on this. But what I wanted to do was kind of show you uh, the Prado line in a way. Here is the inside of the waistband. Uh, again, this is the light talk. Here we go, light talk. And here's the outside of the waistband uh, light draw. And I want to say they also have a pocket carry choice. And they have some magazine uh, carriers as well. I haven't tried none of the magazines carriers, but uh, but again, you know, next time I do this video live, I got to cover that window. Here, guys, last thing I'm going to tell you comes in this little baggie. I mean, again, it's not like we care about the baggie, but you know what? I like the touch. I like that they take the time to put it inside a little baggie and they take the time to write something in the, in, in, in the the with the package. So, again... Light draw, oh, light talk, there we go, <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching, let me jump out here and see some of your guys comment, if you like this video, make sure you click like, subscribe to the channel, we got a lot of stuff coming up, and we dig in this, we like it very, uh, we like what we're doing here very, very much, uh, Cal says, man, that thing is green, yeah, it's, that's, that's how little brother wanted it, you know, <laughs> little brother wanted the green, so, uh, um, yeah, he got a uh, green. So I jump say that's a, a lot. It is a lot, a bit. Yeah, uh, bit it to me, good guys. How we doing? G twenty six. I'm my one. Let's see, I'm a, All right, let me see if there's any other comments in here. Uh, Big shout out to 1776. He have done. He has a couple of videos and Vetter's holsters as well. So go definitely go ahead and check it out. And uh, let me, you know, let me know what you guys think about that channel. That channel is great. 1776 is putting out great content, and we definitely appreciate uh, appreciate that. 
Uh, Haas V11 says, no, you know, long time I haven't seen you. What are you talking about, man? I'm almost always here. Come and, come and spend, maybe live, uh, the, the live stream. Yeah, we started doing live streams again. And uh, a bunch of Marines saying Semper Fi, so Semper Fi to you guys as well. So, all right, guys. So, I appreciate you guys' support. Let me know what you think. Again, big shout out to Vetus Holster for sending this holster here to the channel for testing and evaluation. Uh, we dig it. Stay tuned. We're going to do more videos uh, with this holster. Maybe we do some of this EDC videos and we check little brother. He likes to carry this holster a lot. Uh, I mean, it conceals really well. You can see right here, it goes all the way down to this. So they do conceal really well. And you guys seeing, um, you guys seeing uh, Vetus holsters all over the community. So again, Appreciate you guys' support. Stay tuned because we got a ton of videos coming up. And as always, guys, God is in control.